Welcome to my channel. Well guys, it's new bike day. Unfortunately, in this video, you're only gonna get to see two of these bikes. One of these are a new special edition RSP5. So, that'll be another video. Let's open the parts box and see what we have inside. All right. Doesn't that look nice? We have a set of Ooh, in the plastic they look non-logoed, but they are gray on black. 11 bars, see how it's like kind of tapered? Fat on the edges and skinny, I like that. But that tells me this whole box is actually for that RSP build I told you about. But you guys can see the parts, so let's see what's in here. We got the black bars, we got some matching CF grips, black on gray, KMC chain, bottom bracket, our Blue Tech ultra lightweight race tubes. These are the ones that are clear, super lightweight. Headset, set of HT T2 XS pedals, Shimano caliper, Shimano brake lever, internal routing, 11 gearing, the 11 brake adapter kit, 11 stem, cog, and then a set of XS hubs with the carbon rims. So yeah, these parts will be the build of that new RSP 5.0 frame. 11 bars with the matching teal. A new set of icon rims with white wall on this side, teal on this side. More 11 brake kit adapters, fresh number plate, 9.5 insert to go on it, KMC half link chain. You guys know I've always run the Shadow Conspiracy chain, but KMC is a good sponsor of the team, so I'm gonna go to the KMC change this year and give them a proper go. Two chains, sprockets, a new cool down seat post. We are sponsored by HT, but we also have the Insight brand that also makes a super dialed flat pedal. More lightweight tubes, another 11 stem. Tie bolts, I think these are stem bolts. This is the 11 brand. You can get tie bolts to replace pretty much every bolt on your bike through brgstore.com, so look for those. All those little one percenters add up, right? Black and teal seat. We got a white seat. More little tie bolts. Ooh, look at that color. Fresh set of HT T2s. Shimano XTR disc brakes. DXR cranks. Got another headset, rim strip, another tie bolt. This tie bolt is actually for the pivotal seat. If you've ever taken apart your pivotal seat, that bolt is actually surprisingly heavy. More lightweight tubes, another bottom bracket, rim strips, more chains. Ooh, we have a set of Saint cranks. We run the DXRs, but I would think these Saints are for that RSP build. This crank set just looks so good too. Like I said, we run the DXR set, but man, these Saints are clean. It's just all black, right? You can't, you can't go wrong with all black. Ooh, surprise, fresh set of white Shimano shoes, black on gray, icon forks, and there we have a teal set. All right, you ready to see the race frame? Our new Chase Team Edition ACT 1.2, here it is. We still got the teal, but we're moving to the cement and black. How good does that frame look? I think these are the coolest frames on the market. So anytime I see a new paint job with it, it's just icing on the cake, right? So you know what we're building? Stick around to the end of this video. You're actually gonna see a second build that's gonna go along with this bike, as well as information on one of my old chases that I'm actually gonna be giving away after this video. All right. And yes, I know before you say it, you shouldn't clamp a carbon frame with one of these clamps, but it's very loose, it's not tight at all, and it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Let's get the parts. We will start out with removing the V-brake mounts. The 11 brake adapter kit comes with these nice little covers, so you can remove these and pop those on there. A much cleaner look if you don't run V-brakes. With that being said, if you're building an ACT, I hope you're not putting V-brakes on it. Old seat versus new seat. Actually, now I know someone's gonna notice it. On the back of this seat post, I have a little self-tap screw. That's because I don't run my seat bottomed out. I'm old, if I sit on the gate, it hurts my knees with the seat all the way down, so I run it just enough to show the logo 
and that little stub just allows if I do slam because you don't want to crank down on these carbon parts, right? All this is carbon. You got a strong aluminum seat clamp. You obviously want it tight enough so your seat post doesn't bounce out, as you guys have seen that happen to me. But you want to clamp down so much where it starts to crush that carbon over time, especially as much as we take it on and off of the races. So it just allows me to drop my seat down there and it's just at the same spot every time and it can't go any further. Before I put front end on and bottom bracket on, I'm gonna go ahead and run this through. The ACT is luckily pretty simple because there's actually a guide in the middle of the frame so it normally just pops right out the other side. I say that, not this time. Oh, bike stand was in the way. Yeah, see, it's super easy on the ACT. The RSP frame actually goes in and runs through the bottom bracket, so it's just a little harder to get through. We'll do the actual brakes later. We'll do the front end. First, we're gonna switch out these steel bolts out of the 11 stem. There we go. Those look way more pro, huh? Yes, I will cut and adjust that later. I run the 11 seven and a half inch bar, no spacers. I like to have my bars as low as I can get them. Not recommended, but I'm a trained professional. Wait a minute. Forgot the most important part. A few moments later. The first coat I make sure to do super light, just enough to kind of get a haze, and then the next layer will go on thicker. I'm gonna get back to that in about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna get these brake adapters on. They bolt in through the dropout so we can actually just get it on there and let it stay. What I will show, these adapters come with just a little Allen bolt. I run my back end pretty short, so I've actually had a problem with this bolt being in the rear, and when I hit the brakes, it allowing a lot of pivot on that bolt. I've had it where it pivots down and actually hits the frame, and if it hits the frame, the frame starts pushing it in. So I just go to my local hardware store, and I get a longer bolt. See how the, the bolt's just a little bit longer? When you put this bolt in, with that bolt all the way in, you'll see that bolt's only about halfway through there. So with this little bolt not going all the way through and leaving a, a good bit of thread in there, you're only getting just the end of this little bolt. So even with the axle squeezing it together, it's not gonna go anywhere, but it pivots on that axle. And that little bolt, if it's only in there a few threads, it's gonna allow that plate to move a little bit, so it's not actually keeping it in place like we need to. So I come in, I put this longer bolt in. The bolt is nearly all the way through the adapter. That's gonna allow it to have a much stronger bite. Yeah, note that one. That is a good looking set of brakes. Carbon lever. So we're gonna throw some new ODI grips on, but I forgot. And I was gonna skip this part, but what would a Barry Nobles video be without me cutting or drilling into something, right? And my guys over at Chase just hate when I do that, so we're gonna do that. Let me show you why. <laughs> Literally, saved by a phone call. You think he heard that? Just gonna hit this little red button. These XTR levers. I'm assuming since how the reservoir is made, if you fall, you don't wanna break that, and how this setup is, to the perch, it's kind of like a little leverage support. If you run your bars kind of narrow like I do, you push the grip in and it only goes to that stop. So what I like to do is mark it, cut it, and that part will actually go over my grip. Let's get to cutting. I actually run my bars at 26. Yes, that seems kind of narrow. Ever since my crash a couple years ago when I broke my hand, I don't really have good mobility this way, so the wider bars felt like it was like locking it up, so I brought them in just a little bit so my wrist didn't have to have quite as much bend. Perfect. 
And now, when that goes on, it'll go on just like that. Grips are on. I'll do that cable when we get the wheels on. Crank should be dry. Crank's ready. Ooh wee. 175s, in case you were wondering. Little things, you know? 46, 11 chain ring. Don't scratch the fresh paint. You know, I've always ran black pedals. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this color, but they just don't really go. Hmm. I'll let them stay for a bit and see if they grow on me. Let's do wheels. Oh no. Well, I just realized I have new rims, but I don't have hubs and spokes to go with these. Hmm. And we leave for Houston in two days, so it looks like I'm riding the wheels from my other bike. And I don't really like taking my old bikes apart. I'm not one that holds on to a lot of BMX parts, unless it's a bike that has some memories to it. For example, I have four bikes on my ceiling right now. I have my Amateur World title bike, my X Games bike, my first Pro Cruiser bike, my 2022 Vet title bike, and now obviously my current race bike because it was actually my 2003 World Championship bike. I wanted to be able to throw that bike on the ceiling in this video, but we're gonna steal the wheels. Almost there. Just need a chain. I'm not one that would ever run a gold chain, but I really want to run this half link chain because a half link chain allows me to be a little more picky with my rear end. And I run my rear end pretty short, so with your traditional link chain, it actually usually just doesn't allow me to put my chain where I want it to. I normally have to go like one link back. That's kind of why I run the a half link. I don't know how I feel about the gold chain. Let's step back and look at it together. You can't really tell on the camera, but something about it I like though. 14 and 5 eighths. There it is. We forgot one thing. Now she's complete. My 2024 Chase ACT 1.2 race bike. Do I want to ride motorcycles? We got a guest. What are you doing? You want to ride motorcycles in a backpack? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost finished here. I have my puzzle toys in, in my, my sky backpack just in case I want to play with them. If you want to play with them on the motorcycle or in the shop? In the shop. Well, why don't you play with them and let me finish up? Deal? Yeah. All right, so I told you guys, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about a giveaway. Well, first, yeah, I didn't only build this bike, but I built a matching RSP. And for the ones who don't know, aluminum versus carbon. Sweating like a pig in the shop, so I got tired of building it. We need to wrap this thing up. But for the giveaway, so that means my spare bike, my black and white RSP is gonna be a giveaway bike. So if you want a chance to win this bike, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bells, hit the likes, whatever it takes, because this bike is only gonna be given away here on my YouTube channel, not my other social platforms. But as far as this bike, everything you see here today can be picked up at brgstore.com. As for merch, you can get that at 95ridecode.com. All the links are below in the description. Until the next one, we'll see you guys in Houston. Peace. What else do you wanna say? Bye. Bye.